Hi, welcome to the third section that is managing mappings. In this section, we will explicitly create a mapping. We will also look at the mapping based types, arrays, objects, and document. We will also see how to manage nested objects and child document. Then, we would add a field with multiple mapping. Later, we'll move to mapping a geopoint field, geo shape field, IP field, and attachment field. Lastly, we will see how to add metadata to mapping, specifying different analyzer and mapping completion field. Now, we move on to the first video of this section that deals with using explicit mapping creation. In this video, we're going to take a look at the mapping concept and creating a map. If we consider the index as a database in the SQL world, the mapping is similar to the table definition. Elasticsearch is able to understand the structure of the document that you are indexing, that is, reflection and create the mapping definition automatically, which is explicit mapping creation. Now let's see how to install Sigwin with the curl package on Windows. For this, you need to go to the official Sigwin website. Now, on the Windows system, where you want to install Sigwin with curl, download and run the Sigwin installer. Follow the prompts in the Sigwin setup wizard. You can leave most settings at their default values. Pay specific attention to the following. In the Choose a Download Source screen, select Install from Internet. In the Select Your Internet Connection screen, choose the appropriate type depending on the internet connection you are currently using. In the Choose a Download Site screen, choose a site from the list or add your own sites to the list. The Select Packages screen displays a list of all the available packages and lets you select those you want to install. By default, only the packages in the Base category are marked for installation. The Base category does not include tools like Curl. You should select those explicitly. By default, the packages are grouped by category. Click the View button to toggle to the full view. Make sure that the current radio button remains selected. This ensures that only the most stable version rather than an experimental version, is selected for each package. In the search field, type curl. The curl-related packages are displayed. Select all the curl packages by clicking the Skip button for each package once. Note how the Skip label changes to show the version number of the selected package. Now, let's verify that curl was installed by running the command curl. You should see this output. You can explicitly create a mapping by adding a new document in Elasticsearch. First, create an index using this command. The answer will appear on the screen like this, acknowledged true. Then, we put a document in the index in this manner. This will be displayed on the screen. Next, get the mapping and pretty print it, like this. The result, mapping auto-created by Elasticsearch, will be as displayed. Let's go through the code. The first command line creates an index where we'll configure the type mapping and insert the documents. The second command inserts a document in the index. During the document index phase, Elasticsearch checks if the type MyType exists. Otherwise, it creates one dynamically. Elasticsearch reads all the default properties for the field of the mapping and starts to process them accordingly. So, that's all for this video.